Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. So, long story short, I gotta go run in the woods. Uh, I've had this one particular buck. In my book, he's a monster, absolute monster. Had him on the trail camera starting first week in November this year. Disappeared, came back about a week and a half ago. Been seeing him almost every night. Yesterday he daylighted while we were unwrapping Christmas presents, of course. But... I'm going to go out today. I'll probably sit all day. Um, it's going to be a boring day in the woods, but hey, you got to put in the time if you want to catch those big old long horn white tails. You know what I'm saying? But hey, hopefully he daylights today and hopefully I'm paying attention. That being said, I am taking minimal filming equipment. If I catch it on film, I catch it on film. If I don't, well, then I still got a monster buck. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate y'all. I'm bringing some cameras, but only some small ones. Hopefully, I can record everything, uh, and hopefully, he comes out. But see some does. I'm probably gonna give him a pass today when I normally wouldn't, because we're after this one particular deer, and I really want to get him on the ground. But come on with me. We're gonna be cold. I think it's 19 degrees right now. I'm gonna try to catch this deer. Hopefully, he daylights for us again today. Come on now. All right. Got out here right at about 6.30. You can see the sun's starting to come up behind me. I'm going to sit tight. Hopefully get my eyeballs on some deers. And hopefully we see a buck. This week I've had two different bucks at this spot on the camera. Of course under my stand when I wasn't hunting. But I'm going to sit tight seal my lips keep my eyes peeled for the deers but stay tuned it should be a good day i've got a doe coming in about 100 yards to my right that's not the buck we're looking for but that's a good sign that the deer are moving Let's see if we can get some doe footage here Some more does out here at 30 40 yards, and the uh, the big mama is a little too smart for her own good. So, if the big mama gives me an easy opportunity, I'm probably gonna take it just because she just had a standoff with me for like 30 seconds actually, probably like over a minute trying to get me to move. But, Seen probably 10 does so far this morning. Lots of movement this morning. There's four does right there. Another one coming in from the right. Man, it's a good day for deer movement. But I'm trying to hold out for a buck. Had two different bucks daylight this week. So, I've probably seen 15, 16, 17 doe this morning. More doe than I have seen any other sit this entire year. This is the day after Christmas 2022. But, I never thought I would say this, but I've seen too many deer this morning. Several does have been wanting to stomp at me, you know, 40, 50 yards away. Probably half of the does I've seen today, I could have got an easy opportunity on. But like I said, I've been waiting to see a buck this morning. Uh, but I'm about froze. It's 21 degrees. Look at my hand. <laughs> Had to take my glove off to hit record on this camera. But uh, just about can't move. I've been surrounded by does for about two hours. Try not to get any of them to spook. But, uh, closest one, I've had them at 10 yards, a couple of them, but I'm going to keep sitting and see what happens. Trying to hold out for a buck. I may sit all day, but, uh, 
if a doe shows up real close and makes it easy for me. I might do that too, because I'm freezing, but <laughs> it's cold out here. That's what I'm looking at right there. awesome day so far. I've literally had the opportunity to pop 25 deer. That is not an exaggeration. Probably 25 deer I've had inside 40 yards today. It's coming up on about 2 p.m. in the afternoon. Last deer I saw was at about 12 30, 12 45. But uh, I think they're going to be moving before the sun goes down. All right, guys, I'm jumping in for some narration here real quick. If y'all watch the show, you know I try to keep everything real. We turn the cameras on, and what happens, happens. We don't do any fake stuff, especially when it comes to chasing deers. That's literally my goal. This is exactly what happened, and we're going to show you. I quit watching hunting on TV because it's all lame ads and commercials and no chasing deer. So I try to produce these deer chasing videos well, that's literally all we're doing, looking at deers and chasing deers and not trying to sell you stuff and be lame like all the shows on TV. But, uh, so what has happened here, I got in the tree at about 6.30 and I literally had deer in front of me almost the entire time until 12.30. And then 12.30, I just showed you up until 2 something, I didn't see a single deer. So then it gets to 3 o'clock. And then it gets to almost four o'clock. I hadn't seen a deer in almost four hours. I was starting to get sad, disheartened, maybe even depressed, thinking, man, I should have got one of those does. You hate to sit all day in the freezing. It was 19 degrees when I got out there. That's real cold to us, y'all. Uh, toes hurting. I was thinking, man, I, I should have just got one of those does. I could be home with my family by now. But then it happened. About four o'clock, in comes a spike. And I'm thinking, oh, man, I would have rather had a doe come in, you know, and I could get a doe. I'm not going to take a spike. But then I noticed that spike was looking behind him. That's always a good sign, whether it's a doe or a spike. If they're looking behind them, a lot of times that means there's another deer coming and they're hearing something. Sure enough, I look at the property line fence up above this spike about 80 yards, 100 yards, and I see the feet of a deer. And it's a different color. You know, the, the older a deer gets, a lot of times the, the color of its fur changes. And I'm thinking, hmm, that's got a bigger body on it. <clears throat> then it gets in between some trees, jumps the fence, and I see white antlers. If you can see white antlers that far away, that means it's probably a good deer. A spike looks like a doe, you know, past 50 yards. And I'm thinking, oh, man. Here comes a big boy. It didn't end up being the monster that I've been having on camera, but it turned out to be a good buck, and it all happened super fast. By the way, this entire video was filmed with my cell phone because the camera that I took out there, it was so cold, all three batteries died. Like, the first 30 minutes I was in the tree. So I filmed this entire video with my cell phone. But let's get back to the footage. I'm going to drop you right in where we had that sp spike come in. And then the buck comes in right behind him, and it all happens real quick.
all day sit, baby. I see him right here. He went about 80 yards. All day sit in the snow, freezing. 22 to 50. Yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Put in the time. You get the box. My goodness. We gotta say the prayer. Dear God, thank you for this day and everything you've given us. Oh, we prayed that you'd bring us a buck. Thank you for bringing us this buck. Whew. Hey, man. Let me show you guys this deer. There he is right there. All right, guys. My CVA Cascade in 22250 is now 2 and 0. My son got a deer earlier this week with this baby. And then today, I got a buck. This dude came in to about 20 yards. We're pretty thick back here in the woods. About 20 yards. Hit him with the 22 250. Got that Banish 30 gold silencer central suppressor on there. And we had to sit all day and freeze, but we got us a buck. I could not be happier. Put in a lot of time freezing today out here. And got this eight pointer to come in to us in the snow. But we got a lot of work to do and we're losing light, so we're gonna get to work. But I'm gonna take a bunch of pictures so you can see them up close. So we got a buck on the ground with my 22 250. The one thing that people ask me always, first question with 22 250 is which bow lot are you catching deers with? Well, Remington, y'all know I'm a big Remington fan. I got the hat on and the shirt. It's pretty much what I wear every day. <laughs> uh, it's in a lot of videos. Remington loads three different loadings. Well, more than three, but three different types of projectiles. In 22 250, they load their UMC, which is more of a target load in several different weights. Then they load the high performance rifle, which is a pointed soft point, which is a 55 grainer. And then they load these, which I was hunting with today, is the Premier AccuTips. It's a 50 grainer. And whatever this hits, just immediately 3,800 feet per second just explodes. Uh, but that uh, CVA Cascade in 22 to 50, I might as well show you, it's right here at my desk, is now 2 and 0 with catching deer. It's like I said, my son literally caught a deer with this. Five, six days ago. Exact same setup. Vanish 30 gold can. Uh, love the CVA Cascades. And we've took both those deer with these AccuTip Vs. 3,800 feet per second, 50 grainers. It even shows you the little picture. Uh, this stuff is like a dump truck. Whether you're chasing coyotes or whatever, it literally, almost 4,000 feet per second. <laughs> so uh, when you're chasing deers, Shot placement and blue light selection, um, in my mind, is a lot more crucial uh, than the cartridge or the caliber. People ask me all the time, what's the best cartridge for deer hunting? Well, you can catch a deer with just about any of them, uh, but what's more important is the placement and the blue light selection. Um, but hey, appreciate y'all watching. Now, I'm going to roll in some pictures. Like I said, this entire video was filmed with a phone. So if you're new to the channel and you're like, man, that wasn't the best footage. We have tons of other videos. <laughs> tons. I'm talking about tons of catching deer footage and other critters. Where we got the big expensive cameras out there. Zooming right on in HD quality. But like I said, this time, I kind of said phooey. I did take out one of my good cameras, but the batteries died. But anyways, we had a blast catching this buck. Let me uh, roll in the footage here, roll in the pictures of some of the pictures we took out there. Had an absolute blast catching deers. Appreciate y'all. Hoo-hoo! Oh.